If I was Kerry, I'd, there's a couple of reasons I'd be concerned. Number one, because Dublin are back from their pre-season later. You'd be looking at Dublin pretty, being right there to win that game, even though they're at maybe 50% and Kerry are at maybe 70%. If we're to just pick, pluck numbers out of the sky. Another thing would have been, Evan Comerford stepped into the goals. Really assured performance. Where Shane Ryan, who we know has lots of talent, towards the end of the game there were three or four kicks, uh, kickouts that went really awry. And like in the white hot heat of summer, he's going to need to be able to nail those. So that would be a concern. Yeah, it would be, but it's not the first time Dublin have gone after a keeper um, and really kind of put the pressure on the kick out and kind of done that squeeze. And like once they kind of get a run in you, I mean, there, there was one went straight, uh, maybe it wasn't Fenton, but kind of around the 17 minute mark, you know, he kind of pinged yeah. it and it went straight to a Dublin player. Another one went to Shane Enright's ankles, which is impar- like, and he got away with it. Like Enright somehow managed to get away with the ball. But that's very hair and scare him. Like there's such a momentum shift when you can see the score and you gift one as well. Yeah, and, and it kind of goes back to as well, I suppose, this is the environment you have to get used to. You know, he's kick- taking the kickouts in front of the hill. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe in the summer, there might be a few Kerry fans in there. There wasn't any last mm-hmm. night, like, you know. So you kind of got to adjust to all that kind of things, you know. So, uh, I'd say there's a lot of learning a lot for Kerry last night and Peter Keane will be kind of delighted that that's the kind of exposure of a game you're going to get because you know you look at some of the other fixtures I think they're at home to Mead in Killarney for example you imagine that's not going to be as testing an atmosphere as last night um, so yeah but I, I think it definitely does kind of it flags a couple of areas uh, that they kind of need to work on but you'd wonder I suppose one thing I'd say about the Ryan thing like, you think say Jack Barry was playing earlier that day for Nguyen yesterday David Moore's going to miss the league uh, Dermot O'Connor was actually playing for the Gwales as well so that's kind of three guys who started in the All-Ireland final last year three big kick-out options you imagine if they're there that will surely help them a little bit as regards having something more I suppose experienced and uh, kind of a few few guys to, to, to aim at uh, a final word yeah. a final word then on James O'Donoghue if he's if he like he was he was very impressive at times um, against Dublin, but if he comes back into the team this year and he stays fit, and I mean that has been the curse for him since he got Player of the Year in 2014. If he stays fit, you're probably going to have number one man marker going after David Clifford, number two man marker going after Paul Ganey. He's actually probably not going to be tagged by the by the toughest marker either. It could be the year for him to explode back into it. Yeah, and like you know, I think they'll be really happy um, with him last night. You know, three points from play. But the kind of talent is undoubted, but like you said, it is the fact of just kind of getting that fit, fitness and all that. Uh, he had a big club in actually in the last year, the divisional thing in Kerry, the O'Donoghue Cup was a big thing in East Kerry, and Legion was their first time winning it in over 40 years, I think. And I saw that he was playing very well in that. Like that competition went on until December. So I wonder, is that kind of giving him a little, you know, little bounce kind of going into the year? Um, if you just see, could they play the them in a full forward line, you know? I mean, like, it's not really the done thing anymore in the GA, is it? Like, having that kind of a traditional kind of setup. Uh, I suppose Ganey did kind of work back a lot last year, didn't he? And when it, could have done it, who, you know, he has, I think, played in the half forward line for his club. Could he maybe play at the edge of the D and maybe float a bit more? Uh, but, it's you know, it's, it's, it's a nice little headache um, for Peter Keane to have. Uh, Killian Swan's probably another one he came back into the team last night like you know so no more than what we were saying about Conor McHugh uh, you know giving Dublin kind of another option for the full forward line imagine James O'Donoghue who's going to give Peter Keane that kind of little bit of an extra headache as well for his attack thanks for watching our game don't forget to like and share the videos and if you're new to the channel hit subscribe